really support the parliamentarian around her, and that was really rude, and it uh, referred to the crop-haired apprentice ways in London, a bit bullshit. And the parliamentarians would call the royalists cavaliers because that was a uh, Polish man, a Catholic man, a Spanish man, a foreign man. So you mustn't call them cavaliers and others. Parliamentarians and royalists, what's the difference? If you look at them, they could be from either side because there's absolutely no difference whatsoever visually between a royalist regiment and a parliamentary regiment. It's not about fancy feathers in your hair if you're a royalist and short hair cuts and boring uniforms if you're a parliamentary. But the clothing the soldiers and the uh, officers wear is all down to social status. So the officer there is wearing his own personal clothing and it's expensive. Black dye is very expensive, so he's posh. But he could be from either side, because parliamentarians and royalists were not divided by class. Um, they were divided by their, uh, their politics, to a degree, their religion as well. So he could be a royalist, or he could be a parliamentarian. Now imagine on the battlefield, when um, two sides come together, it gets very chaotic. And the way you do it is put a third sign in your hat. So the best way to turn out to find out who's who is one side up, put a bit of paper in the hat, something as simple as that, and then you know which side is which. Anyway, I'm talking too much, so I'm told. Uh, we're now going to see what the pikemen do. Now you've seen.